top of the morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dustin YDU from YDU Games. Welcome back to West of Loathing. I just finished watching a bunch of Jack videos. Jacksepticeye. If you don't know who he is, then you shouldn't be watching my channel. You should be watching him. Let's continue this game, West of Loathing. How are you? Now I remember. Wow, this is really loud in my ears. Is it loud to you? I gotta find out if it's loud to you. I can't tell. Okay, so we last when we last left off, we have Gary... And there, why is there two doors over here? Oh, there's a staircase here that goes right to my... That's handy. Insult yourself. I just got angry. Now, the f one thing I wanted to do a while ago, and I kept forgetting. Hey, Lloyd. I have a shot of bourbon for five meat. I got dirt water bourbon. Anything else? Um, no, I want to see what a shot of bourbon does. Dirt water bourbon. This glass, this is a glass of famous dirt water bourbon, which is famously, famous mostly for having visible chunks of dirt in it. Increases your maximum HP for the rest of the day. You drink the bourbon trying to strain as much of the dirt as possible through your teeth as you do. You don't do a very good job of it, but you get dirt water. Blech. No, I clicked out of... Son of a biscuit. I clicked out of the game. I'm sorry. I know I'm still recording. Continue. Okay. Apparently, we're right back to where we were. Am I already dirt... I'm already dirt watered. Okay, good. So it saved my progress from that point. Oh, another spittoon. This is a spittoon. Which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because not spitting at all is an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Inspect it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass on the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Let's inspect it. <coughs> Sigh, here we go again. Alright, fine. You are now hunkered down next to the brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert, and the ambient humidity around here is pretty slow. Pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad, because it's, on, it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate, several years worth distilled and concentrated until, the very, until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Let's search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and v viscosity of maple syrup. Except, except instead of maple, it maple is flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorp. <laughs> it feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Let's keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you ate them. Ate oh, and you hate them. And you ate them. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, let's see what that thing is. Is it eye for inventory? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to be clicking it anyway. Okay, you have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit, and you don't want to spell out the little hole in the bottom of it. Three melee attack damage and three spell damage. Now, where does this go? It goes right here. I don't know what was in place of it. Oh, was it this? No. Was it the can of infinite beans? It was a can of infinite beans. I kind of want the filthy porcelain cow. It, it, it's got more stuff to it. I still have the fungicide. Okay, click this X. Not the X up here. Right here. Not up here. 
right here. Okay. Allows you to four to five damage. What's my saber do? Five to six. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, hello, girl. This gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. Okay, bye-bye. The old man stares off in the distance listening to the piano. Let's try talking to him. He doesn't react. Oh, poker room! Remember the last time I played poker? I won. Rules. Oh, no. Okay, four deuces can't be in the same hand as a pair of jacks, but are twice as valuable as a tray of spades. A player holding a pair of five of hearts must immediately double their bet. Four trays and a pair of twos count as a Kentucky flush. Any player spitting anywhere other than the spittoon must swap cards with the other on their left. Sevens are wild, unless accompanied by two aces of spades. A three must be replaced with a five of hearts. Two trays of diamonds beats four aces of hearts, but beat a two of hearts. A six cancels out a pair of fives. A straight beats a straight. <laughs> Any player who draws four sevens immediately loses the game. Three kings of diamonds and four queens of diamonds count as a South Carolina flush. A Royal Georgia straight beats a Utah straight. <laughs> okay, how long does this go? This is funny, but... Oh my god, it just keeps going forever. A player with more than two cards in their hand must discard 27 cards. And eight beats a pair of deuces. It goes on forever. Okay. Now, who do I want to play with here? I got this fine-looking couple. This fine-looking couple, and this guy looks like he's losing. And this guy... Guy, girl, whatever this one is. Looks like they're losing. But these guys have guns. Okay, so does he. Never mind. Let's try this couple first. Play. You sat down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the black and sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Myrtle. And the player to your left says his name is Ira. The dealer tells you that the ante is 20 meat. Okay. <clears throat> The dealer gives a deck of shuffle and then deals. A hand of cards glides across to you at the table. It's totally it's a total garbage hand, a deuce of hearts. <laughs> it's the first round, the pot is sixty meat, and you estimate your chances of winning is around ten percent. Let's let's check. Myrtle reluctantly raises. Okay, th then I'm folding this one. Let's play let's play another hand. Andy up. Okay, the dealer gives a deck of shuffle, blah, blah, blah. It's a really great hand. Cross-eyed jack and four sixes. Let's moxiously raise. I requ requires one moxie to do it. Or I can gumptiously strategize. Hmm. Let's strategize. You arrange your cards into a more aesthetically pleasing spread. Plus 20% chance to win. Let's continue. It's the second round of betting. The pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning around 60%. What does glamorously strategize mean? Let's cleverly raise this time. You're smart enough to know you should raise, so you do. By 20 meat. Move on. It's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is 120 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning around 60%. Cleverly raise... You give your cards a wry appraising look, then raise by 20 meat. Reveal your cards. Myrtle flips her cards over one at a time, revealing a Montana flush. Iris size and reveals his hand is straight. You lost. Oh! Alright, let's, let's go to this, this. This table's full. Oh, I can only play at one table? Well, that's a bunch of bull. Okay, one more ante. Shut up, I'm a... I'm a, <laughs> I'm a gambler. Chances of winning around 30%. Check. Raises. Okay, let's call. Oh, it's at 40% now. Forcefully strategize. It's the second round of betting. Pot is 120 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning around 40%. You pound the table, causing the cards to fly into the air and land with a slightly different configuration. Yes. It's the last round of betting to do or die time. The pot is now 20, 120 meat. 60% to win. 
Let's check. Okay, so I'm at 70% now. So Marion hesitates for a moment and then raises. Let's call. I win! I gather the hall. I mean, it's less than I lost earlier, but I win! All right, I'm done for now. Okay, I don't want this whole episode to be about freaking playing cards. As fun as that is, the piano player is not very good at his job? Question mark? Slop is five meat. Let's get some slop. All right. I don't know what that does. Um, what does that do? Increases your maximum HP by five for the rest of the day. All right. It was just five meat, so. Oh, I didn't read what it said. Oh, god dang it. What are you guys doing? Having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Yeah! I'm in the kitchen. Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, but oh, sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type. I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there is something you can do for me. Nice. I'm out, I'm out of salt, Peter. And I need someone to go pick some up for me. Salt, Peter? And other things. Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? Okay, okay, where can I find it? Your best bet is a military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. All right. Lady is too busy washing dishes to pay attention. Okay, nothing, nothing over here. Let's just scoot on by over here. There's Gary. Oh, wait. I want to look for something. Where's the door? Uh, dirt water mercantile. What? I don't know what that. Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Oh, advanced bean craft. How much, how much meat do I have? 360. Should I go gambling some more? <laughs> You know what? I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, okay. I'm going to edit this part out. I'm going to... Oh, I went the wrong way. Let's go gambling one more time. I, I need to... I need to... I need, I need to get some money back here. I got 150 meat. All right. Do it again. Okay, so I just got a boatload of money because I figured out how to sort of play the game. Now, I don't know how much money I have. Uh, I have 810 now. I only need 90. I only need 90 more. That's all I need. Just 90. 90 more. Hang on. Okay. So, I just lost all that meat. In fact, I lost just as... Cactus Bill, I didn't expect to see you here around these parts. Well, I gotta admit, I'm a little envious when I saw you had to leave Boring Springs, and I figured I'd hit you right out west to see what I could see. And just look at this place. So much hustle. So much bustle. There sure is a lot of both of those. Hey, nice pot. Thank you kindly. So it's new. Well, to be honest, what's new is a profound sense of longing and loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it is what it is. I was hoping I'd run across a similarly, similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out here. Or failing that, a normal human lady looking to marry a cactus. No luck? Not yet. Of course, getting around is a bit of a challenge. But us cactuses live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet someone, somebody, someday. I'll keep an eye out. Heck, I would sure appreciate it. Alright, so I have crap for meat now because I lost so much money. I feel so bad. I, I, I did. I lost so much money. The clerk clears the throat. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. Off I don't want to offer to be the sheriff because that's usually bad. Offer to help. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, then there's always somebody in need of justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells are over yonder. Okay. Stripey hat gang. 1,000 meat. Interesting. Dirty rotten thieves and low down, no fashion, sense of scandals, despicable. Want to go after them? Yes. Cavern Canyon. I'll go after the other poster in a minute. I'm going right after the Cavern Canyon. Uh, no, I don't want to wander. Oh, that was as far down as we could go. Okay. Cavern Canyon. Oh, you come across the corpse of a cowboy. How do you know this is a corpse of a cowboy? Well, you see by his outfit that he's a cowboy, and you see by his lack of flesh that he's a corpse. 
Okay, I can either go honorable or get useful gear. I'm going to go honorable this time. And 10 XP. It was the least I could do. Okay. Oh, a spider. Goody. Anything over here? No. Oh, yeah, I have foraging. It's coffee cactus. We got some hot coffee. Increases your speed by three. All right. You drink the cup of joe. My name's Duster. <laughs> oh, that, that was funny. Increase your muscle mistake and for one for the rest of the day. It's just a dusty turnip. I'm just going to eat it. I'm so mad I lost all that money. I had so much money. Hold on, hold on. Gary, what do you say, buddy? Hey, hey, what is the sign saying? That one? It says Danger Spider. Danger Spider? Okay, good luck to you, Gary, to staying here for horses watching. What, should, what do you think I should do next? West going too fast? Okay, big iron snake to riding. So fast taking us. A big iron. You mean the train? Yes, asking the training mans. Okie dokie. Okay, so there is booze. Decent tequila. Oh, God. You must have a death wish standing this close to that thing. Medicine and weapons. I'm going to go after the weapons. You should leave right now. Ah! Oh! Pry off the boards. These boards can't hide you from prying eyes or your prying crowbar. Danger spider. <laughs> this door has 15 deadbolts on it. The note tacked to it says, Please do not open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it, because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a spider. It isn't even science, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. <laughs> Open the door! The tunnel behind this door goes straight up. There's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. All right. That is... Look at that. Walk. Oh, I'm sneaky. You see the pile... The gang on the pile of this junk, but you're not going to be able to get through them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs and are able to pick up... Pick your way through it. Okay. So, I leave the area for now? You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams. Then there's more skittering, then silence. Let's go inside! <laughs> hey guys, did you guys get hit by a spider? Huh? <laughs> this is the way he walks. The gang has been prepped for a spider consumption. Oh, don't do anything just yet. I want to look around. Danger kitchen. This poor chef has changed to a wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Shh. Sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours and shakes vigorously. I'm Doug. Duster. How do you do, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks, cooking for those stripy-hatted idiots. That sounds awful. You want to know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right, and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. This chain is only four feet long. Oh. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school, with a million meat idea in my head, and now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. What million meat idea? You, uh, promise not to steal my idea? Yeah, I promise. Okay, then. It's a new kind of sandwich. Or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary, I'm not, revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits into the whole hand food taxonomy, to be honest. Sorry, I do read faster than I talk, so I tend to slur when I'm re reading. And I'm burping, too. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage. But it's sausage made up of the cheapest possible parts of a pig ground up so finely that you can't identify them anymore. It's a hot dog, isn't it? Okay. And it's served in a long split roll, which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. And the best part? The name. You ready to hear the name? Sure. I call it the Hot Dog. What do you think? 
It sounds great! He beams. Thanks. He sighs. Not that any of this even matters. Even if I did get, the, get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around in this empty cave. Making a hot dogs for, just for myself, I don't even like the taste of them. You could set up shop in dirt water. Brilliant! You're a genius, Duster. Hot dogs for sale all day, every day. I'll make a mint. Ha say, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage? <laughs> you help him break his chain. She leaves the cave, hauling the oven and shelf, and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipe recipes. That's that then. That's it. Okay. All these bottles are empty. Looks like... Wait, what? This place needs a new bartender. What's this? You got a... Jaw harp. Maybe they killed him for his playing the jaw harp too much? What's a jaw harp? A little twanger. You can pluck it if you like. You stick the twanger in your mouth and pluck it the best you can. Plank some more. You love planking this twanger. <laughs> Plunking this twanger. You plunk your twanger joyfully. You plunk your twanger with vigor. You can't stop plunking it. You plunk your twanger and then you plunk it some more. You plunk your twanger to the beat to beat the band. You love plunking this twanger. You plunk your twanger all the live long day with vigor joyfully. So there's no achievement for that. Got it. There's really nothing in here. Well, I here I better risk you guys. Oh Jesus. Oh, I was on the other side. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna rest you guys now, okay? Alright, let's get up. Let's get them. You stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for the one which Gary offers to drag, and head back to the dirt water jail. Turn them in! Is that the stripy hat gang? What happened to him? They had to run in with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice! Fortunately, the reward is, is for results rather than explanations. <laughs> Groovy. Okay, now I got money. Just wanted to say hi. Hi. Well, best for getting back to work. She coughs as if to say you should be doing something more important. Okay, bye. Is there the door over here? The cell is... This empty cell is all ghostly. Okay, I know there's other things to do, but I really want to buy that thing for me and Gary. Hello! I'm getting advanced bean craft, please. And a bag of shroom grow. Gary will want this. This is a bag of patented shroom grow. Miracle fungal fertilizer. Guaranteed to increase the size and intensity of any mycological specimen. What's a can of oil do? Is this lubricant? Or lubricant? <laughs> Both. In a sense, because of its because it is a can of lubricant. Disposable binoculars. Use to discover a new map location. Oh, that's kinda cool. There's all the dynamite. Plum pudding. Muscle for the rest of the day. Shovel. I already have a shovel. You have one of these. Good. Soda crackers. Speed okay, okay. Now where was that thing I wanted to sell on my side? The jaw harp. I do not want it. Sell for 15. Okay, is that it? Miscellaneous. Okay, nothing. Alright. Well, let's learn my advanced bean craft. Cook. This is a cookbook. A cookbook specializing in bean recipes. There is a list of meditation techniques to help you concentrate while cooking and or fighting. Give the use the old beans a skill that temporarily increases your mysticality during a fight. There's a chapter about cooking bean dishes so small that they have to be served intravenously. Gives blood beans a skill that lets you regenerate health during combat. There is a recipe that's been scratched out and replaced with a bunch of paranoid insane scrawlings. Gives wary a skill that increases your maximum ape. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
Okay, but I like the use the old bean, I think. Increases my mysticality during a fight. Maybe? Or maybe, should I regenerate health? Oh god, I don't know. Alright, we're learning wary. You read the scrawlings and internalize all their insane paranoid implications. You got the skill wary. Afterwards, you narrow your eyes and burn the book. I didn't trust that book. <laughs> hey, Gary! I got some food for you. Okay. Thanks for the reminder. Um, How do I give it to him? Oh, give to Gary. Give the bag of shroom grow to Gary. And he tears it open and starts shoving brown lumps into his mouth. A deliciousness. Gary has become more powerful. Groovy. All right. I'm so glad. <laughs> there was another way to make dirt water post office. Oh! I'm glad there was another way to make money, by the way. Hi, I'm Duster Buster. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. All righty, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, uh... Oh, it's one of them prepaid ones. It'll be zero meat then. Thanks. One of those newfangled telegraph machines. You know, you look awful mad to have a heart flower hat on. Let's buy some. Let's buy some gr flowers now, because now I have some a little bit extra meat. Thank you. Hot dog. Hot dog. Is this Doug? It's Doug! Howdy, Doug! Well, if it isn't my, if it isn't my savior, good old Duster, howdy yourself. The sign outside? Yeah, I had to change the name. I tried to file a trademark, and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. <laughs> anyway, a single letter removed, and I'm in business. He gestures towards the menu on the wall behind him. Let's buy something. What do you got? Elegant hot dog increases your mysticality by six for the rest of the day. Muscle and moxie. Let's get one of these. Got to help out my fellow patron. Except nobody's in here buying anything from you. Lot available. Cool. Wow, lots of lots available. Wow. Wait, what's that say? Not a... Not a lot available. <laughs> Not a lot available past this point. You saw the sign. There's nothing past here. Ah. Okay, let me just scooch by you. Okay, so I know there's more things to do. So I'm... What's this? Another wanted poster. That wasn't there before. It's a wanted poster, or a wanted poster, if accuracy is important. It says wanted, a house in the desert gang, for mortgage non-payment, squatting in the general public nuisance, also for murdering two collection agents. House in the desert. Hmm. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. <laughs> the house in the desert gang. In any case, the least, at least their location is ambiguous. Want to go after them? Sure. A house in the desert. Let's go. Oh, yeah. What does the flowers do? Oh, there's the hot dog. Oh, for the rest of the day. Let's eat it. I'm full. Okay. Flowers smell really good. This item goes in your offhand. What is my offhand? Is it my pistol? Is this my offhand? No, it's a lapel. So it's either the saber or the pistol, right? Where'd it go? What was there? The filthy porcelain doll. Stench resistance. No, nope. I want I want the, I want that. I want that. Uh, okay. Well I did that. Let's, okay, let's go to the desert house. Uh oh. You hear a groaning noise a short distance away and investigate. A cowpoke is sitting against a rock with his leg bent in a way that seems incorrect. What happened? 
Dang, horse threw a rod and I fell off. Think I busted one of my dang dancing arms. Give him a ride back to dirt water. You help the guy back on, on your horse and give him a ride back to town. Thank you kindly, stranger. I'd say I owe you one, but it seems doubtful we'll ever meet again. <laughs> no problem. Okay. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northwest. It doesn't seem to have noticed you. Or anything else, really. Let's attack it. I gotta up my, my skill a little bit here. We got to jump on him. Hi, Gary. Um, he has a wooden plank. Let's, let's see what attacking does. Not much. Gary Fu skills. Gary will ha will spawn a goblin grunt to assist you in the fight. Oh, so he is he is a spawner. Okay, let's beat him up. Damn, Gary, you're strong. Hey, skeleton. Hey, one. Hey, skeleton. Sucks to be you. Got dull chips and a gold tooth. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside and say, What was that? Uh-oh. As you dis... Oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid full-on Frankas. Sneaky's my middle name. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes. Sneaky is my... Duster Sneaky Buster. Okay, if you say so. Thanks. <laughs> okay, what was... Gold Tooth... It was in the ground for a very long time, then in somebody's mouth for a very short time, and now it's in your backpack. Some itty-bitty bits of skull once they were good for keeping somebody's brain salsa inside, but not anymore. Shh. From the sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. <laughs> this doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside. Okay, bring him on. Okay, Gary, I'm going to need you to do something. Okay, how many... How many, uh... What, what do you have? What do you... Uh... One AP. How many AP do I have? It doesn't tell me how many AP I have. And I want to shield myself. You have four action points? Is that what... Oh, AP! Ag oh my god. Okay. Well, let's hit, hit the first guy. I'm not going to say Kamehameha anymore. Okay, Gare. Time to start sprawling. Reproduce. You'll never take us alive. And we'll never pay the mortgage. <laughs> You're about to kill Gary's clone. One. Oh, he f he fights by himself. Go, Gary. And I can't reproduce a second time. Okay, gotcha. That's two guys gone. Hiya. Ow. Okay, let's just finish him off, I guess. It looks like he poked him. Justice has been served to the old house gang. XP, you get 30. Bag of ears and such. Desert gang six gun. A black hat. And black boots. Hooray! What do we got? Okay, a black hat. Plus one armor. Plus one mysticality. I'm keeping my old hat for now. Okay. Six to seven damage. That's four to five damage. So we're switching dad out. Bag of ears. You didn't feel like carrying the entire house and the desert gang back to town, so you just took a few bits. <laughs> okay. Um. The dog has wandered off in search for better masters. That's it. Howdy there, let's go. Okay, let's go back to dirt water. Your boost sense alerts you in the presence of a rock. Confused, you move the rock, and there, sure enough, there's a battle of booze behind it. You get an item cheap wine. Phew! 
For a second there, I thought your boost sense had been replaced with some kind of rock sense. Good news. Okay, let's turn these guys in. Well, these guy. This guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. Let's check on him. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so... No. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke off all of a sudden. Uh, broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm going to need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Sure. Thank you. There's a mission up north. The nuns run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you get me some broken leg pills? Okay. Coming up. Give her what's left of the <laughs> desert house gang. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Good job. Thanks a bundle. Oh, see, now see, now there's two two wanted posters. I want to see if they're in the jail. No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> kick, 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 kick. Okay. Um, now, is there anything else I, w I can buy in here that... No. Blood sausages. Oh, yeah, that's right. Increases your muscle by whatever. Okay, so before we do that, let's go back to our room. They're engrossing conversation. Leave them be. A couple of ladies. All right. So we're back to my room, and this is where I'm going to pause it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dustin YDU from YDU Games, standing for you don't understand games, and that's why I play them. This has been West of Loathing, part three, I think. I think I, I'd like to say I got a lot more done in this episode than the last one. The last one looked kind of boring to me, so I apologize for that. All my links are in the description, and I'll have to see you guys later. I need a better outro.